What it do, what it do, what it do. It's your boy Badger. And it's Maha. And we are back at it again with another video, man. And this time we are back with another comparisons video. Most painful school punishments. One, I've never been. Why? Well, I wasn't, I didn't get in trouble in school, so I wouldn't even have to worry about this. But if I did get in trouble, I would get a whooping by my parents. That's about it. But I never been whooped or severely punished at school. You know, they took the paddling crap out of school. I don't know, did y'all get paddled back in Bermuda? We had the paddle in primary school. I never got it. I know this one kid that got it, but. I wonder if it was bad, but I'm, I'm curious. What are the most painful school punishments? Cause all I know is you got suspension, detention, ISS. I mean, getting yelled at, that's all I know. So we'll see what it says. But before that, give him the verse of the day. The verse of the day comes from Psalms 56, three. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you. Amen. Amen. All right, man, let's get into it. Let's get it. All right, so number one on the scale is a dunce, dunce cap, a dunce cap. It was used to shame unruly students and make them feel worthless. <laughs> yeah, that's Dang. pretty jacked up. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> what the heck? But it's a zero on the pain scale, so at least that's I mean, yeah, it's not painful, but inside it's gonna hurt. Like, just got that hat around and basically saying you stupid. Next is detention. Detention is a punishment where students are required to be in an undesirable place. I ain't never had detention. Did you? Yeah, I have had detention. Can't but relate. But not Can't relate. on my own, like a class detention. Oh, that don't matter. That, man, I had lunch detention. I have had lunch detention. I can't lie about that. But a class detention? I'm talking about if you went to detention. No, I've never, never been to detention. See, I think if I had to go to detention, I would have cried. Me too. I ain't gonna cap. <laughs> I ain't gonna cap. Oh my gosh. Oh, that that's that's a crazy school punishment. Chopping off hair is a 0 0.1 on the scale. In Western countries, this is now considered assault. I would hope so, cause I that's that's wild. Yeah. You ain't cutting my kids' hair, mm -mm. cause they got in trouble. You tripping? Oh my gosh. This is actually very painful. Tickled with a feather is 0.3 on the pain scale. The body movements of someone being tickled are the same as someone in pain. Bruh, I, you, you know how I'll be trying to tickle you. I don't know if that's appropriate. I, I'll, but you can have it, bro. I will act up. I, will, I won't act up in school no more. Because if you hold me down and tickle me on my feet, <laughs> if you tickle me on my feet, bro, I'm done for, bro. Like, you got it. That's worse than a whooping right there. What? Yes. No way. Oh my gosh. What? 0.5 on the pain scale is a carzer. A carzer was a designated lockup room to incarcerate students as a punishment. <gasps> so it was like a jail cell in it's school? giving Matilda. Yeah. Dang. But in Matilda, it was called the Choco. And it had all the spiky stuff on it and you could only stay still here. That's interesting. That just sounds like an uh, excuse to have prison in school. Yeah, that's scary. It's like they want to scare you. Oh, oh my gosh, I had to do this. I had to do this in primary school. I couldn't remember why. This is a one on the scale, writing your name a hundred times, just like Bart Simpson, LOL. Y'all know the intro of the Simpsons. And he's writing his name and then it comes through and he gets a skateboard, goes out the window and he's skateboarding. You know what I'm talking about? No. She don't know who the Simpsons is, y'all. I do know who the symptoms. But Simpsons you don't know the, the, the intro? The, no, I the... never watched the Simpsons. They look stupid. I said what I Yo, said. Yo, send her back overseas, bro. She don't get us Americans, bro. What 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 cartoon Bermuda had? Exactly, American cartoons. <laughs> lame, lame. Anyways, yes, writing your name a hundred times is crazy. I've never had to do that in my life. Actually, I've had to write a sentence, I think a hundred times. A sentence? It was terrible. I bet you, do you remember the sentence? Nope. <laughs> well, it didn't do its job. Clearly. OMG. This is like a elementary school. Yeah. Standing in a corner is 1.3 in the pain scale. Standing burns about 100 to 200 calories per hour. 
compared to sitting, which burns 60 to 130. Dang, I didn't know it burned that many calories. Same, I'm about to stand more. Boy, I'll be getting in trouble in purpose. <laughs> Just to exercise. I know them kids be hating this one. Doing 20 push-ups is a 1.5 on a scale. Being forced to do this can be painful, but Marie so humiliate. What? More so, bruh, okay, so, so <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, look, 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 to be fair, if I'm gonna put more so, I'm not, I didn't know that was together. I didn't know more so was one word. Who knew more so was one word? Cause I did not know more so was one word. <laughs> I had no idea more so was one word, bro. Yeah, it looks like Marisa, that's, you're right. That's the first time I've ever seen more so on like written ever in my life. I thought Marisa was doing push-ups. <laughs> but when you started laughing, I was like, oh no, something's going up, something's up. <laughs> yes, 20 push-ups. We had a coach named Coach Barnes at my high school and he would be like, give me 20 push-ups. Yeah, oh, you already know, give me 20. For what? What would you Like, do? if you said something smart or... Um, give me 20. And you had to get him 20, man. So, yeah. That must have been an old school punishment because he mm -hmm. punished us like that. 1.8 on the pain scale. Getting screamed at. Long-term exposure to sounds above 85 decibels can cause hearing damage. I mean, what? when do you not get screamed at? But I'm saying, why are you screaming at me? Bro, every teacher yells at What is students. that helping? What if I just genuinely don't understand? The louder you get, then we get quiet. And then we start talking again. Yeah. <laughs> it don't be fixing nothing. Mm -mm. Boy, but they, they teachers do be getting mad, boy. You, that, look, they scream and then they start crying. <laughs> they start crying when you can't yeah. get they uh when they can't get your attention. Oh, what the freak? Oh my I ain't goodness. never had that done to me. That's no. that sounds illegal as crap. Yeah. Number two on scale is taking away lunch. Nutrition research suggests that taking away take away children's food should be illegal. It should! 100%. What are you gonna starve a child because they not listening? Yeah, that's terrible. They gonna just be irritated after that. That ain't helping Starving. nothing. They 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 act like eating is a a what is it? What's the word? Uh, it's necessary. It's necessary. This this ain't no, no. Oh, whoopee! You get to eat. You know what you I'm saying? You shouldn't have food, especially your lunch, as a reward. Yes. It's one thing to have like a lollipop as a reward. Exactly. But, but food. A whole lunch. food you need to survive. Yeah. You're tripping. And then you'll be mad when they're not focused after lunch. Yeah. Or they're dead. <laughs> Well, they they fought. <laughs> it all took one lunch you took away from them. Yeah. Mm, you look stupid now, teacher. Who's crying in prison now? Mm -hmm. You is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take her to jail. <laughs> <gasps> Yo, Maha's gonna get triggered from this. On the scale is a 2.5. Hold your pee. Holding your urine too long can weaken the bladder and muscle over time. This is a crazy school punishment. That's a crime. Go tell your story. It should be more than 2.5, okay? Because the humiliation alone is like 80. But basically when I was in P3, what is that? P4, fourth That's grade. Like, yeah, fourth, fourth grade. grade. When I was in fourth grade, I told Miss Wade I have to eat bathroom. <laughs> and she said, no, you gotta wait till recess. You can't use the bathroom now. And me, goody two shoes, not wanting to get in trouble. Also, my only, my second year in Bermuda, mind you. She's like, no, hold your pee, hold your pee. So I'm like, hold my pee, hold my pee. And next thing you know, she's peeing, she's peeing. <laughs> That's what Ace Boy says next to me. And I was, I peed my pants in front of the whole classroom. And then I don't remember what happened next. It just, it was all a blur. I think I ran out. I stood outside for a little bit and I probably went to like, I don't know. I don't even know how I got another like pair of, how I got another skirt. It's crazy, man. Yeah. I don't even know if I told my mom. But she did apologize, right, Miss? Yeah, Wade? yeah. She apologized and gave me a hug after. But that does not, that does not. Um, that doesn't excuse her. Exactly. It doesn't excuse her. And I felt really like embarrassed too. Hey man, hey man, put cancel Miss Wade in no! the comments. Cancel no! Miss Wade in the comments. Cancel Miss Wade. You. Cancel Miss Wade. This is the same teacher who thought I cheated 
on an essay that I wrote and Ms. another girl actually. Look, Miss Wade on had me. it. Miss Wade. But she thought I cheated on her. Ms. Why? Because my first language was in English. Yo, Miss Wade had it out for her. <laughs> she wouldn't let her go pee. She was a cheater. Miss <laughs> Wade, hey, cancel Miss Wade yeah. in the comments. No, please yeah. don't. Cancel Miss Way! <laughs> These are some old school punishments. I'm getting pinched. My mom used to pinch us. No, she didn't pinch us. She'd do this. Ow. Mm. You want me to pinch? <laughs> God. <laughs> I didn't do anything to you, bro. That hurt, guys. I didn't that even That really you. hurt! Why would you do that? Don't do it again. Number three on the scale is getting pinched. A pinch nerve occurs when too much pressure is applied to a nerve. Yeah, man. Pinching hurts. Look, I ain't even touched. <laughs> anyways. Why are you doing that again? Anyways. Getting hit with a wooden ruler. I think probably on the hand. I got a story with me. Uh, it was when I was in preschool. So the fact that I can remember this yeah. tells you it's true. Yeah. But it wasn't with a ruler. It was with this thing that was like a star, right? So I was a baby, y'all. I, I cried all the time. And I was at preschool. And uh, I was just crying, and she, the lady, the Dude, one what's that, her name? I don't know. I actually forgot. Okay. We're going to call her Black Lady. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Miss Black Lady took me in the bathroom, and she had this star, this star thing with a wand, and she went to hit me in the hand with it, because I was crying earlier, so she took me in the bathroom to hit me in the hand with it to stop crying. That's wild. Make it make sense! For real. How you gonna hit me to make me stop crying? Cause I was crying! Exactly. And you know what I did? I left the bathroom still crying! <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I didn't even tell my mom till like years later. And oddly enough, she saw the lady in food At line. At the grocery store. Oddly enough, and she asked the lady and she was like, oh no, I didn't do that. Of course she can deny it's That's years okay. later. But uh, I don't know why I ain't tell my mom the day it happened. Yeah. Cancel Miss Black Lady too. <laughs> Cancel Miss Black Lady. Cancel Miss Wade. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that's enough. Oh, girl. Getting slapped is four on the pain scale. A father actually died from a game of slap with his son. Why are you playing a game of slap with your son? So the son killed his daddy from playing. Yeah, he tripping. Oh, the father died. Yes, the father died, oh, not the kid. That's why. Boy, this son, ooh, he must have did something bad to oh his son. Oh my God. His son was like, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> so Just for the time you didn't buy me Lego. His dad was like, come on, boy. You ain't got. Oh my gosh. That's terrible. Did you guys do slap box? <laughs> 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 what? Did you guys see slap box? Yeah, we used to slap box. I was, I was pretty nowadays? good with it. Huh? Do they still do it nowadays? Yeah, you slap box every now and then. But just don't do nothing crazy hard. Know. You know what I'm saying? I've I'm been slapped. Up. One time I slap boxed my friend Tay that, mm -hmm. I, that came. Mm -hmm. In middle school, boy, he made my face numb. <laughs> You know when you uh, sitting somewhere and your leg go to sleep? That was my face. I ain't Did it never tingle after? Huh? Did it tingle? Yes. I ain't never slap boxed him again. Oh my gosh, it's terrible. Right. What? So number five on the scale is stand on a chair and pull your ears. This was a punishment that was meted out both at school and at home. I'm curious. What? I'm curious. What? 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 That? What does that do? You're pulling on your ears? Someone's standing on a chair, so now they're taller than you, and now they're pulling on your oh ears. Oh my gosh! <laughs> you know, my dumb tail was about to back this chair up and get on the chair and be like this. <laughs> it did not even that bad. But they pull your ear, oh yeah, that's that's hell. That's that, terrible. That's terrible. Yeah, they that no wonder why that's been out of school and home. Five on the pain scale. One is made to raise his or her hands above their head for a period of time. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. terrible. Now imagine doing that mixed with wall sits. Oh yeah. Now that 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 is not good. My primary school did that. Keep your hand raised. No, no keep them up. <laughs> Alright, 
5.5 on the scale is kneeling on frozen peas. The coldness of the peas will quickly cause a burning sensation. That sounds painful. That sounds very painful. Very you know what painful. is also painful? What? Kneeling on turf. You know what I'm saying? Black turf? Yes. Mm, that was all right. No, bruh. You don't understand. When your coach is giving a speech, a long speech and your knee is on that turf and you gotta kick, keep switching and then you knees. Got those indents oh my on goodness, your knees. I hated it. I hated it. I hated it. I hated it. I need to do a skit on that because I hated it. That's a punishment. I know that hurt. Number six on the pain scale is being struck with rubber bands. The biggest rubber band ball in the world was made from 700K rubber bands. Mm. What does that fun fact have to do? <laughs> <laughs> school punishment. I was thinking the same thing. That ain't got nothing to do with nothing. You could have been like, someone died from getting flicked with a rubber band or you something. You found out that a father died from playing slaps with his son. Yeah, so uh, thanks for the info, I guess. <laughs> but uh, nah, yeah, that junk do be hurting. My little bro yeah. my older brother used to do that to me. Yeah, Flick me, that junk hurt, bro. 10 minute mile. Oh my goodness. Girl, that's not bad. What's a, a freak? Mile. Come on. So, 10 minute mile is seven on scale. Students have to run a mile in 10 minutes, sometimes causing exhaustion. Actually, that's well, not even that bad because at my slowest, I ran a, a 7 11 mile. No, but I'm saying you've been an athlete your whole entire life. Like, I'm but I'm about saying in high friends. school. No, but I'm thinking about some of my friends who can't even run like for five minutes straight or don't want to well, run yeah, for five minutes straight. That would be a hell of a punishment. You know, <laughs> like they, so there's some people who just don't do sports. For a lot of their life, so Shoot. that could be a struggle. Give me that 10 minute lap. I'm running four laps. And like, right now, I can, I can probably run a mile in like about six, seven minutes. You think so? Probably less? Probably more. What do you think? It's gonna be like near 10 minutes? No, probably like an 8.30. Girl, get out of my face. You think you can run a mile in six minutes right now? I said six, seven minutes. You think you can run a mile like in seven minutes? Like 7.30. Thirty. <laughs> <laughs> like 7.30, bro. Okay, I'll have to see that. What are you running your mile in? Huh? What are you running your mile in? Oh, I don't know. But I'm saying, I'm just you didn't saying. like running with me. Girl, if I put my mind to it, I can do anything I want. Okay, let's say you run if a If I can run a four-minute mile, I can. You Thank ran, you. You ran a four-minute mile before? Like I said, if I can put my mind to it, <laughs> I can do it. Look. And we can test this out whenever I feel like doing it. <laughs> Thank That's you. That's never. That means Next. never. Next. What the? Oh, no. yeah. You had this done? No. Oh, boy. I mean, I never got it done. <laughs> you was talking like you got it done. No, but I mean you heard about it. No, wash, what? wash mouth with soap. Yeah, if you're cursing. Mm -hmm. This is a seven point five on the scale. Hand soaps can cause harmful effects such as vomiting or diarrhea. Bruh, I didn't know that. Well, I think I thought it was the bar of soap. Yeah. Yeah, it's talking about hand soap. Oh. I feel like the bar of soap could probably cause the same thing. Maybe, yeah. But yeah, bars of soaps in the mouth because you have a dirty mouth. Yeah. Hey, y'all better not curse. Mm -hmm. I might do that to my kids. I'm not doing that to my kids. <laughs> oh, What the no. freak? No. Uh-uh, this is torture. Never, yeah. This ain't even a punishment. That's, this is torture. 8.5 on the scale, it need to be higher. Spraying lemon juice in your eyes. Acetic splash, am I right? Acidic. Uh, acidic? I said that. Acetic. Acidic. <laughs> Acetic. Acetic splashes can be toxic to the oc ocular. 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 Thank you. Surface of the eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's 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 Just, painful. Bro, what are they putting these students down? It's like I know. You should have never talked! Sorry! And then they wonder why they're not paying attention after. Facts, cause they blind. What the heck? Are you are you looking at the porn? Yes. <laughs> what is the answer then? Up. Oh! <laughs> is it? Read it out loud. I'm done. Done wrong. Get your eyes open. <laughs> oh Terrible. man.
that's 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 horrible. Number ten, the pain scale, slipper ring. The slipper may not have been as physically painful as a cane, still it was painful. My mom would do this. That's what I'm saying. They called it a concha, a conche, or something. In Filipinos, chanelas. Oh, that's all I'm talking about. That's chanelas. In, that's in Spanish. A chocla. That's oh, what chocla. it is. Okay. Chocla. Maybe you saying it wrong. I'm saying in Filipino, it's a chanela. Filipino and Spanish, the same thing, sweetie. Uh, Where are you from? What what mom mean in Spanish? Mom? Madre. Okay. Same thing in the Philippines. She tripping. She don't know her own language. Don't make me get that chancla on you now. You Bruh. What? You said Mariso. Don't come for me when you can't even understand your own English. Exactly. Mariso look like Spanish. <laughs> 11 on the pain scale, chilies and mouth. Pepper and Scoville units are said to have topped hotness scale at 3,180,000. Yeah, y'all yeah, can give, give, give me the whooping. I, I like spicy to a certain degree, but yeah. when my nose start running and all that extra yeah. stuff, I don't, I don't do all that. When my sister was younger, my our older brother pretended that chilies that we were growing in the backyard in the Philippines was candy and then Juicy ate it and then she cried and she screamed and to mm. this day she does not like spice. Mm. Your sister's so gullible. <laughs> <laughs> my goodness. Chilies in the mouth. Honestly, I don't want nothing in my mouth. Hey yo, what the Just saying. Ooh. Oh my gosh. This is torturous too. Soap in the eye. 11.5 on the scale. Acid chemicals can also also can cause serious damage to your eye and eyesight. Yes, they can. That junk burns. When I was yeah. doing the different types of people in the shower, I accidentally got soap in my eyes filming. <laughs> that junk burns. Mm -hmm. It is not a good sight, literally. Ooh, what is that? A foot whipping. 12 on the pain scale, a method of inflicting pain by beating on the soles of a person's bare feet. Oh my Ooh. goodness. That does sound painful. Sounds kind of ticklish to me. Really? <laughs> oh my gosh. Bro, what? What kind of punishments are these? these I don't are, know. Who. This is more like, this is like punishments where I need you to tell me where the money is and you're not telling me. Torture? Yes. <laughs> That's what this is talking about. Go ahead. Picking up broken glass barehanded. Broken glass is a health hazard and could cause infections. You don't say. Yeah, that's freaking wild. It's I'm not 14 gonna lie. on the pain scale. Yeah, uh, that's that's freaking, that can kill you. 14.5 on the scale is a cop attack. Back in the time, cops often used to beat students, students with batons as a power of the Oh my gosh, bro. I wanna know what, who these students <laughs> was. Cause something tells me they look like us. <laughs> Back in the time. <laughs> I love how they say it, back in the time. Back in 1954. Cops, back in the 1962. <laughs> cops often used to beat black students <laughs> with batons as a power of display. Why the cop white, huh? Yeah, I need to know that. I just want to know who this, what, how the students looked. Me too. Just to, for us to get clarification. I think we know. <laughs> But I want to just know for sure, because that's just making it seem like they was beating every and everybody. Mm -hmm. I just have a hard time believing that. But we going, we digest. <laughs> that's the right word. Digress. Reform school. 15 on the pain scale. A reform school was a penal, penal? A penal institution. <laughs> Penal? <laughs> it's penal. <laughs> Stupid. I said that first. How does it feel? <laughs> How does it feel? Institution known by some as a pain factory. So I'm guessing you got beat up when you get in there. Right? Jeez. The freak. They gonna beat you so bad you gonna go back to school acting right. 18 on the pain scale. Welsh knot. The Welsh knot was an item used by schools in Wales in the 18th and 19th centuries. I'm guessing you got. Is beat. it a wooden? Yeah, you got beat with a wooden. Um, what is that? A, I don't know. What's up? People just think you can just get beat and just start acting right? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> think about it. 
I did get beaten. I, I act pretty good. Yeah, I guess it works. <laughs> Just playing, y'all. Murga is a stress position used as corporal punishment, mainly in parts of India. So they making you stretch as yeah. a punishment? That looked like that hurt. So I bet they can't, but... I man, do that stretch all the time. Man, they're going to find the wrong one. One of them, they're going to be flexible. And right. they're gonna start crying. They're like, I don't wanna do my car. And then go down into it and be like, <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna fall asleep. Yeah, probably fall asleep. And then get whooped from behind. What? Dang, imagine your teacher saying, Oh my God. You know what? Stare at the sun. Yeah. Stare at the sun for five minutes at that. It's a 26 on the uh, scale. In just five seconds, ultra, ultra vile. Ultraviolet, right? Mm -hmm. Light floods your retinia, retinia, burning the exposed tissue. Retina, <laughs> retina. Uh. Did you do that on purpose? Yeah, <laughs> I did. I did. I just want to be funny. Mm -hmm. You know me, Mr. Funny Guy. <laughs> He worked out today, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Retina, duh. <laughs> okay. This is not even painful punishment. Yeah. This is how can I kill you? <clears throat> this is not how can I kill you school punishments. Uh, this is a 31 on the scale. I don't know what's topping this, but all right. Swallowing glass. Broken glass could cut your throat, your esophagus, and your stomach if it gets stuck. Honestly, I think Watch Data just put this. Yeah, I can't imagine swallowing glass. Y'all gotta give me the receipts for who was doing this in school and where. Can you imagine having to swallow glass because you cheated? Oh my goodness. That that sounds like the best thing ever! Imagine a dude that like it. Oh my gosh. He just terrible. be getting in trouble on purpose. Oh man. <laughs> I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding. I love it. <laughs> so stupid. I, I really think they're just adding stuff because ain't no yeah. way, bro, their students getting tased. This is a 36 on the scale. People shocked by tasers often call the experience the most painful of their lives. Oof. I ain't never been tased. I don't want to be tased. Same. You be seeing those uh those people in the military and the cops. Yeah. Like, yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> breathe, <laughs> breathe, Jeff. <laughs> some of them be taking it too, but some of them be like, <laughs> I need to do a skit on that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 40 on the scale is tied to a crucifix. Police charge a Nigerian teacher for tying late students to a crucifix and flogging them. Oh my God. What's flogging? I'm hitting them. <clears throat> With like a thing. Oh my goodness. That was the way? Someone must have. <laughs> well, no, it wasn't the way because the, they, they got charged. Yes, by the they Pope should. Pope. But like, that was your first thought? Like, it'd be the super religious people that be doing stuff like that. I'm just saying, that's the first punishment you think of? You were, you were planning this. That's, it don't even matter. That's the devil. <laughs> Facts. That's the devil because whoever Facts. comes up with something like that is evil. I gotta look that one up. Okay, this is very bad. <laughs> Kicked in the balls. This is 52 on the scale. Three Kenyan school teachers went into okay. hiding in 2018 after doing this to a poor child. Oh my God. What is up? Isn't Kenya in Africa? Mm -hmm. Ain't Nigeria in Africa? What's going on? But there's still two different countries. I know, but it's the fact that they're in Africa. <laughs> so what, what, what was your point? You could say, isn't India in Asia? Isn't China in Asia? I know. What is going on? I'm just saying, these punishments back to back in Africa. All I, can, I can't make the reference that both of these places in Africa? You trying to fight? No. You want to get kicked in the balls? I don't have balls. You want to get kicked <laughs> in the balls? I don't have balls. Hey, yo. <laughs> Ain't nobody having no balls. I will find you. And I will cut your balls off. <laughs> Ooh. And 55 on the scale is stung by a velvet 
ants. Native to the USA, this is a, actually a type of wasp called the cow killer. So they would like get this and put it on you? I guess so. As a punishment? Yeah. Oh, what? You ain't gonna ever do nothing again. We saw a wasp today. Seeing it was enough. I know, y'all. It's springtime. They coming back out, y'all. That was enough. They coming back out. Do you think schools should be allowed to punish their students? Leave a comment below. No. I don't think so. I do not believe that you should be able to punish the students. Let that be done at the, the house. Let that be the parent's responsibility. Yeah, you ain't touching my kid. Facts. I know back in the day, the paddle, I get it. Yeah. But not today. No, mm -hmm. you're not touching my kid either. Mm -hmm. Cause how am I know how you, I, I'm, if I whoop my kid, I'm doing it out of love. You gonna do it out of hate. Right. Which mean you ain't gonna probably stop. I don't know you. I don't know you. I don't know you. You just my, my kid teacher. You met my kid three months ago. Yeah. And he only here, what, six months at a time? Get out of here. If that, I Nine. think it's more. Nine. Right. So you don't even know him that yeah. much. You just know him for a year's, I'm not, I'm not even a year's worth. But if my whooping's not getting it done, yeah, whoop him at school. <laughs> Anyways, man, so that is the most painful school punishments. Those were some painful school punishments, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that post notification, and we'll see you next time. And man, AG2G, all glory to God. Peace out!